Most of the time when treating class 5 caries with composites, the isolation with Trabodam is considered to be difficult and very often dentists feel pushed to give up and use traditional methods like retraction cords to control the crevicular moisture. Cords can be indeed a solution to retract the soft tissue next to the cervical area, but we know that this is not enough. We need to retract the cheek and the tongue to obtain space so you can have enough light and visual access to be able to perform the preparation of the cavities in optimal conditions and later on to be able to layer the composites relaxed without the permanent fear that saliva will invade your working area. We need to focus only on the medical procedure, not on the cotton rolls and suction. Also, we need our assistant to really help us in handling materials and instruments and not act like a cheek retractor for the whole procedure. I am filming this video with a camera mounted on my loops to be able to show the action from the dentist's perspective because this is the angle that every one of us relates better. First of all, I'm using a periodontal probe to evaluate the depth of the cavity. The index of the left hand is supporting the clamp to be able to have more control and to safely place the clamp without traumatizing the gum. In such a way that I am distributing each hole to each tooth to be exposed and I ask my assistant to take over another the issue. I don't have enough force to push the buccal beak over the margin. Dental mirror or a spatula to push the buccal beak in a deeper position while I'm not losing the position of the lingual beak. Next step, I manipulate. It is a polishing tip for the high speed, so make sure you reduce the speed of the micromotor to avoid the heating and also don't put too much pressure because brown is quite an active burr and it can reduce some of the composite, so you might excessively... Let's observe the integration of the rubadam isolation in an even more difficult scenario. For example, deep caries defect in lower molars extending under the gum of the hand and control. I think that the stylus syringe is much better. Most of the sheets, especially the latex ones, will tear when you try to do this approach with a winged clamp because of the fact that the perforated hole has to extend. Everything is nicely isolated now. So I can carry on with sandblasting, then selective edge. This is such an amazing instrument, look how nicely the adaptation process goes. Try to imagine doing this without rubber dam. It will be do some extra polishing and finish the case. Let's see another case with class 5 lesions, this time in anterior area and understand the integration of the rubber dam isolation and all the advantages of this approach, the challenge here is to isolate while dealing with old overhanging restorations extending under the level of the hands are working while isolating anteriors. Marking, punching and placing the rubber sheet on the teeth through the perforated holes, everything works right. Two centrals, I'm using cut B5 clamps from the Brinker set. I stopped using B4 clamps to isolate anteriors because they have a fragile stability and the B5 cut clamp is much stable and provides more space that has a longer arch. I push the buccal beak in a deeper position while I'm not losing the position of the palatal beak. My favorite everyday, every case, long shank burr to start removing the decay and eventually switch into a sharp one once I dangerously get close to the sheet just to prevent tearing it with the brush. Then you can do the final polish with whatever is your favorite system, less cure on the glycerin and then the case is finished. This last photo is after one week. I hope that after seeing this video you will not perceive the integration of the rubber dam isolation with class 5 composites as being a hectic and frustrating procedure, but on the contrary you can appreciate the ergonomics and all the advantages that come from this approach. The main purpose is the peace of mind when you layer the composites and the certainty that you are performing the adhesive protocols in a perfectly isolated area.